are dreaming, my friends. Hello, welcome to a Black Ops 2 My Class. And these, these are the classes that I use. I'll let you know a little bit more about them. Uh, basically, RNG, run and gun. I'm using the Scorpion. It is the most highest rate of fire gun out there. And I've got the, the Cat 40 with that. Now, if you've not used the Cat 40 yet, <laughs> oh my God. And as soon as you unlock it, just start using it get the extended clip on it and it is as good as an smg so basically you don't need overkill you can run around with two smgs more or less and i've banged the long barrel on the scorpion just to give it that little bit of extra range ghost is you know with all the uh, the uavs that are flying up ghost as long as you don't stop uh, you know it, it's just there to stop the camping basically I run around anyway so ghost is a, a nice little perk to have and hardline because I want to get my kill streaks that little bit quicker I've sacrificed perk 2 and I've gone on to engineer for perk 3 because the shock charges the bouncing betties are out there it opens up a completely new world you can see where people are camping behind the, the bouncing betties and stuff so really engineer is an absolutely fantastic perk I think it's underrated and um, if you haven't tried it you should do moving on to Casper Casper the Ghost basically this is my deadly silence um, setup so I've got the uh, the chick on, on this one and I've got the suppressor on it keeping it nice and quiet Ghost and Hardline again but this time I've got cold blooded engineer again because I, I like I said I've got to know where the bouncing betties are and the cat 40 is my secondary absolute superb class setup there for the short uh, smaller maps uh, midlife crisis yes <laughs> well the LSW uh, apparently is the second best weapon on the game it's got a massive uh, fire rate uh, nice long distance that you can kill people as well it's really good again hardline but this time I've put lightweight on because it's a, an LMG it's a little bit heavier so you'd be moving around that little bit slower with lightweight it just helps you out a little bit and the attachments I've got the reflex sight and adjustable stock adjustable stock is an absolute beautiful thing on the uh, on the light machine gun because you can aim down sight and you can still move around absolutely fantastically and the cat 40 again as I've said my secondary Twin Peaks now I've incorporated a little bit of the um, uh, the, the smaller maps on this one as well so I've got the the LMG from the main weapon again but this time I've got overkill on and I've got the the shotgun the S12 shotgun so if I'm going into a building I can just whip that out and just spam that trigger and just put the fools down and toughness on this one for me perk too um, just helps if I'm getting shot uh, you know it doesn't swear the weapon that much and fly swatter is my air support take a downer -er. If you know what I mean. Basically, if the air support goes up the stealth chopper, fly swatter comes out. I've got ghost, blind eye, cold blooded. They can't see me in the air at all. I've got the FHJ as the secondary to take out the air support. And if that fails, I've got two black hats as well, which basically is really, really good. You can hack the enemy equipment and bring the, uh, whether it's the spy plane, the counter UAV, you can bring down. I even bought down, um, oh, what's it called? One of the, the, the big kill streaks. I can't remember what the, uh, the the bloody kill streaks called, but air support. It's fantastic. Um, and finally, Beastroid. This is my go-to class. Go to it a hell of a lot. I use it a lot, basically because it's good for the mid-range map. Uh, adjustable stock again on the LSW, and I put the suppressor on it just so I, you know if, if I've got two or three people and I sneak up behind them. If I've got the LMG unsilenced a couple of shots the other people are going to turn around and know exactly where i am with the suppressor i can just wow it just cuts cuts through them it's like a saw it just takes them completely out because i can just spray the hell out of them and the suppressor they just don't know where it's coming from so that's a nice little touch on there uh, again the cat 40 it's on all my classes engineer again as i've uh, already explained and basically that's my setup now i'm going to give you some gun statistics as well and I shall also show you my kill streaks. Okay, so let me give you some stats and the reason why I'm using the guns that I'm using. Now, the, the LMG, um, the light machine gun, the LSW, is the highest firing rate out of all the LMGs. It's got a 9,000 round per minute uh, firing rate. And if you put rapid fire on that, it'll go up to 1,200. 
The damage is uh, the lowest of all the light machine guns, but if you imagine that um, the highest damage one is the MK48, um, which only shoots 600 rounds per minute. So I can get more bullets into you quicker than you can with the MK48. So I'm gonna drop you faster because of that fact alone. Um, the three kill shot kill range isn't, isn't that good, but it's all about the rate of fire. And that is also the reason why I've gone for the Scorpion. Now the Scorpion is the daddy of the high fire rate. And the rounds per minute of the Scorpion is 1200. You put rapid fire and it goes up to 1800. Now that is just, ah, oh, it just tops the lot. If you're going into a gunfight one-on-one -on -one with somebody, you're just gonna take them out, just pull that trigger and they, they'll drop, no doubt about it. But it it's absolutely superb. And the Cap 40, well, again, for a, a handgun, the rate of fire is 900 rounds per minute. 900 rounds per minute, that's the same as my LMG. Obviously, the damage isn't as high and the range isn't as good, but if you're going with the LMG and then you're going into a building and you're about to put on the Cap 40, wow, yeah, you're just gonna be dropping falls. So I've got a real massive decision to make is when I prestige, do I take the Scorpion with me or the Cap 40? It's a tough one, absolutely it's a tough one. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. And finally, the score streaks. Well, I bang up UAV because it's you know, pretty easy to get and every kill that somebody else gets, it's, uh, it's an assist which adds to the score streak. Next is the lightning strike because I don't know, I just like to pop a few, <laughs> a few jets in. And if you get a few kills with the lightning strike and people collect the tags, if you're playing kill confirm, that kind of stuff, um, it can easily lead to the stealth chopper. And I've got to be honest, people don't seem to be taking out air support at all. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing that your air support can live and kill. <laughs> Yeah, but there you go, I'll get uh, some footage for you in my next video and just show you how, um, how each of the, the classes play out. I'm Robo or Effect, as always, thanks for watching.